Hi, and thanks for joining me, and thank you to those of you who have subscribed. If you would like to, I would love that and appreciate it. If you are joining me for the first time, I like to talk about products that I'm trying out, some tutorials, things like that. I usually look at high-end products, but this time I'm trying to find some dupes. Now, it started with some mascara I wanted to try, and then it kind of snowballed from there because I saw other things at the drugstore that looked like things that are my go-tos and things that I rely on that are high-end. So I thought I'd give some of those things a try. I have some eyebrow products, lipstick, another bottom lash mascara, and a couple other things. So if you'd like to see how that went and if those dupes turned out to be dupes or not, please keep watching. Let's just start with eyebrow pencil because I feel like if my brows aren't in place then nothing looks nearly as finished. I'm using the Dior Dior Show Brow Styler in 002 currently. And I picked up this NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I got this in the color taupe. And I can't open this. Ow! Wow, they really have this sealed up. And I'd like to take a look at where things are made. This is made in, in South Korea. This is made in Japan. I'm going to swatch the taupe one. So here is the taupe. Okay, so we are very different in color. This is the Dior. The Dior is more of a, it's a deeper brown for sure, and it's cooler. So right off the bat, I'm going to say they probably aren't dupes, but let's see how it works. Let's go ahead and put the Dior on the right side. Okay, so that was just really quick. So I'm a little bit afraid of this color. It does have a spoolie on it, so we'll see. I have a feeling it's going to turn a lot more warm. I'm noticing I have to push a lot harder in order to get any color to show up on my skin. It feels more waxy and the color does not match as well. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad, but it wouldn't be my first choice either. Definitely having to work harder than normal to get anything to show up. I think in a pinch I would use this, but it's definitely not something I would grab for first if I had a choice. Let's move on to the brow gel. So we have a boy brow by Glossier and the Sonia Kashuk that I picked up. The boy brow is in brown and the Sonia Kashuk is in, I think it was only one color. So let's go with the boy brow. So let's go in with the Sonia Kashuk. Oh, let's do a little swatch. Here's the Sonia Kashuk. And then let's compare it to the boy brow in terms of color. Now the Sonia Kashuk, I know I said I like cooler colors, but it looks really cool. Wow, this wand is huge. I definitely don't have as much control with a gigantic wand like this. And I don't know if it's doing anything. Okay, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know if I'd reach for this one either. I guess I feel like I don't have as much control and this product isn't as predictable as a boy brow. Let's keep moving. Now I did pick up an eyeshadow, the Infallible Metallics. The reason I picked this one up by L'Oreal is because it looked very similar to the NARS Loaded Palette in Versailles, I believe. Now I look at them in the light and this one looks a lot more gold, but let's swatch them together. Oh, wow. It's very soft. It picked up a lot of material. So here's this one. Very nice sheen to it. Let's try the NARS out. The Infallible is a little bit lighter and the NARS is a little bit deeper. So what happens if they reflect the light differently? They look like completely different shades, but if you get them out of the light, they look more similar. I kind of forgot I had an eyeshadow to test and I put the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Amber Haze on already. So what I'm gonna do is just put these on my finger and then put them on my eye to see how they look on top. So using the Charlotte Tilbury as a base, I'm gonna go in with the NARS product on this eye. Definitely more of a brown color. And then we'll go in with the Infallible on this side. Oh wow, that is a big difference. Beautiful. So you can see the difference between the two colors. Okay, these aren't really dupes either. I actually prefer the way that this L'Oreal Infallible looks on top of the base that I set down with the Charlotte Tilbury product. If you want it to pop a little bit more, I would go with that L'Oreal color. I ended up buying a lot more stuff than I meant to. I really started out with just a mascara and then I found a few more things and I thought I would try um, some other things along the way and that's how this all happened. 
I'm gonna go in with this teal color because I've been loving wearing this in the summer and this is by Urban Decay, it's 24-7. I believe it's in Deep End. And this is by NYX. This one's made in Germany. <gasps> so drugstore packaging kind of drives me crazy. Let's swatch the two. This is the Urban Decay. And this is, oh wow, it's really soft. Okay, this is blue. This is the color, what did I say, azure. But I thought that the exterior colors look similar because this one has a little bit of gold in it and this is blue. So far I haven't done very well picking colors, but let's try this. It does go on really smoothly. Now I'm noticing the application's a little chunky. When you put the 24-7 down, it just lays the color down. You get really intense pigmentation and you don't see any skin showing through. On this one, I can see my waterline underneath peeking through. Although this is a beautiful color. So that's blue, definitely not the same. <laughs> yeah, definitely different. It's blue, but blue is also beautiful. I think on brown eyes, I really like the greenish color, but I think that this is also something you could pull off if you want to just do something kind of fun that's not predictable, but also not very much of a risk. It seems really nice in terms of the way it went on, although you have to go back and forth a few times to really get it to stick. But it does have a beautiful reflective quality about it. So far, still nothing that really is like a, a dupe per se. I'm really excited about this product. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And then I'm going to test it against my, this is not a, a high end, but it is drugstore and one of my favorites. That is the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline. So I'm just going to go in with primer first because I normally do that anyway. Dior Dior Show 3D Maximizer Primer. I'm so happy to have this back. I haven't used a drugstore mascara in a while. Okay, so that is one coat of the Maybelline. Let's go in with the L'Oreal. So curious. Okay, primer. Oh, and this is a bristle wand on this one. When I have a bristle one like this, I feel like I have to wiggle it back and forth more than, say, the plastic wand. Although the separation on this is nice. Okay, so we've got one coat over here and one coat over here. Let's try the other one. We'll add another coat over here, too. Okay, that's two coats. And... If it's bothering you that my eyeliners are different colors, it's bothering me too. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on top of the green one for now. Actually, that is really pretty to put the blue one on top of the green one. Let's put the green one on top of the blue one. So the green one has a lot more gold in it. Okay, I think we're evened out a little bit more. So, so far the mascaras, I'm still liking the Lash Sensational, I must say. Let's add another coat. It's just so much easier to apply this one for me. Because those bristles get in between the lashes and you just pull the wand through. As opposed to the other one, where I feel like I have to wiggle it back and forth in order to get the wand through the lashes. I have to say I'm not as impressed with this as other people have been initially so maybe I have to use it a little bit more but I'm happier with this I'm getting some uh, clumps on the very ends of my lashes which I don't like whenever I use this it is a tapered look on the ends of the lashes so the thickest part is not the end of the lash but on the lash parodies I'm getting that I'm getting some thickness right at the end and then my lashes are kind of like crisscrossing at the end I'm not getting that with this. Two more products left. We got a bottom lash mascara. I use the Clinique bottom lash and I like it because it has a small wand on it. I've got the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara in Very Black and it says it has a mini brush. Now I just read if you have sparse lashes that a small brush like this works really well. So let's see how it works on the bottom. It is very narrow. Easy to get into those little 
hairs when it's smaller like that. The wand is very long though, even though it's narrow. So I have to say it is getting every hair and I'm not bumping into my nose. So actually this one seemed to work okay. It was all right. So we'll just have to see if this smudges because that's the other test. Sometimes your bottom mascara will smudge onto your face. So I want to see how that performs. And lastly, I have a lipstick. This is the Tom Ford 7th Sin that I've been loving ever since I got it. I use it all the time. And it's unique in that not a lot of lines were offering a copper lipstick. And then I came across the Urban Decay Vice lipstick. I think it came out during the whole heat release. So this is in Scorched and I love the packaging. I only saw this color online so I don't know really how close they are but let's look. It does have a coppery color to it. Oh they look close but I'm seeing that this one looks a little bit lighter. The Tom Ford looks lighter and a little bit more gold but let's see. So here's Tom Ford. There's the Tom Ford color. Let's try the Urban Decay. Love that. Oh. It's a little rosier looking, a little bit more intense. Let's go ahead with the Tom Ford on the right side, and I don't use liner with this, I just apply it straight. And I like that it has a gold sheen to it. Let's try out the Urban Decay. Definitely deeper. It's more of a brick color in there. So not the same as Tom Ford either. Okay, so we have all the products on right now. Let's talk about them and come up with some thoughts. Well, the first thing was the NYX pencil versus the Dior pencil. And I know I really didn't give this much of a chance, but first impressions um, are important to me as well. So if you're swatching something in the store and you make a quick decision, whether you like something or not, which is why drugstore I think is hard because you don't get a chance to swatch them. I would not choose this one. I would definitely choose, I would pay more for the Dior one because it does perform and you can rely on this to perform. This one took a little too much work and would take too much time to apply. But if you are just starting with brow pencils, you might want to try something like this just because it's hard to mess it up because you have to keep going over and over in order to see it. So. That's an option, plus it's got a cool color to it. So you could give this a try, but I would not be grabbing for this one. So I wouldn't call that one a dupe. Oh yeah. Next I tried the Sonia Kashuk Brow Gel next to the Glossier. There was no contest there. This didn't control or add any volume to the brows, and it's a different color, and it's a little bit too gray, too light for me. Next we got the eye pencil, which was not the same color either. This was much more blue than NYX. What I did like was when I put this bluish color over the teal. I thought that was really beautiful. It changed up the color, which is surprising because it didn't really do much straight onto the actual waterline, but it did do something once you put it on top of this one. Not a dupe, but I will use it. Disappointed in this because I have heard so many great things about that. This eyeshadow, the Infallible Metallics. I am very impressed with this. It is not a dupe, though. Not a dupe, but I prefer the drugstore, and I really like the formula, and I think there are a few more colors. Next, we have the mascaras for the Bottom Lash Clinique versus Lash Discovery, and I'm pretty impressed with the Mini Brush Mascara by Maybelline. I thought that the wand was gonna be too big to get into those lashes because mine are so wispy, but I think I will continue to give this a try. All right, and last. We've got the Tom Ford versus the Urban Decay, and these are not dupes. They are similar, they look really similar, but they're not the same. I prefer the copper color in the Tom Ford. I'm mean, sorry I bought that. I don't know yet. <laughs> Time will tell if I use this or not. That was kind of fun though. And that's why I really don't buy stuff at the drugstore because I don't find things that I like as much as the higher end items because of either the color or the performance. Yeah. I tried though, I tried. And I'll keep trying because I think sometimes it's interesting to try them, but I find that things that I do buy at the drugstore I end up giving away or not using as much as the higher end items. If you love anything from the drugstore, you think there are things from the drugstore that are better than high end, 
then let me know. I didn't have much luck here today, so please share those dupes with me. If you learned something, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. This is supposed to be one of their glide slide on slide on. If you want to try to try the run, and I find that if I don't let the primer dry immediately, no. Now I've got the Meta Mama. Whoa! I have to say I'm not as impressed with this as I've seen other people be impressed by it. Okay.